In the western United States, wherever the land is flat and treeless, nature presents man with a particularly annoying problem, the tumbleweed. Tumbleweeds move whenever the wind blows. The problem comes when they stop, usually against a highway fence. In New Mexico, something is being done to solve the problem. Students and faculty here at New Mexico State University's Advanced Manufacturing Center in Las Cruces are working on a device that will get rid of the pesky tumbleweed quickly and efficiently. This particular project that we're looking at today was a result of some work with the Alliance for Transportation Research, which is a consortium of state and local highway governments throughout the western United States. The Alliance for Transportation Research, along with engineers from the State Highway Department in the state of New Mexico, identified a need for removing tumbleweeds from the areas along the medians and the crash barriers, particularly in downtown Albuquerque and Santa Fe area. This group from the ATR came to New Mexico State University and asked us if we could put our students on a design team to address this problem that's so serious to the state of New Mexico. The tumbleweed control problem used to be handled manually. So the uh, maintenance director would send out a crew of two or three. They'd spend a couple of hours. They'd uh, drive along the uh, shoulder, jump out of the truck, throw 100 pounds of tumbleweed in the, in the dump, and then uh, take it to the yard and get charged for, uh, for a uh, five yards truckload. Uh, so uh, uh, what the uh, district manager in, uh, in District 3, the Albuquerque District, Mr. Steve Harris proposed a mechanized solution. And uh, uh, we took it from there. Since this project started, we've actually had several visits from representatives at the state of New Mexico highway and transportation departments, as well as representatives from other state and federal agencies. We've had requests for information about this project from five other states throughout the western United States, from people that represent the flood control authority who have tumbleweed problems with tumbleweeds gathering in the flood control and irrigation ditches, and even from the United States Department of Energy, who's concerned, concerned about maintaining the security perimeter around fences at high security installations. Originally, uh, Mr. Harris proposed a, uh, uh, a sort of uh, mechanized uh, uh, drum, uh, and not unlike a, a farm implement. So we went out to uh, farm implement dealers and looked around for some ideas. And we noticed that the hay baler has, uh, uh, in many uh, products, has uh, uh, fingers rotating through a slotted drum. And so uh, <clears throat> we decided to incorporate that idea uh, into the tumbleweed uh, pickup part of the device. The uh, tumbleweed is uh, uh, sitting uh, in the road being a good weed, and uh, the device will uh, grasp the tumbleweed from uh, uh, along any barrier, we believe that it's, if it's packed up along a fence, that the truck can go along the fence and, and, and sweep it from that area into a uh, commercially available chipper shredder. That's a hammer mill type design. The uh, uh, tumbleweed is reduced in size. The fibers are reduced anywhere from uh, dust to uh, maybe two or three inches long. And then uh, the hammer mill is evacuated by an integral blower. Then the uh, particles are entrained in the airflow and blow through a flexible tube uh, back into the bed. Tumbleweed uh, is uh, difficult to handle. In other words, if you try to uh, move tumbleweed, transport it through a tube, if you, if you put a bunch of tumbleweed in a tube and you push on one end, it'll break. And if you reach in the other end and you pull on it, it'll break. So uh, there's not a convenient way to convey tumbleweed anywhere where it doesn't, where it, where uh, it, uh, where you want it to go. So what we had to do was uh, devise a, a series of fingers that would uh, uh, direct it uh, uh, the whole, uh, the entire uh, way. And, and so not only does it need to be compressed, but it needs to be transported down a chute, however short. This one is only about six inches. Uh, but that was the principal problem. I'll tell you, it's a wonderful experience being able to uh, work with uh, students who take, this, take the problems home with them at night. 
Uh, I mean, you think about enthusiastic students, uh, kind of an ideal sense, and what I've, what's been uh, gratifying for me is to see that actually happening, that students will uh, contribute in any way they can, enthusiastically and cheerfully. It's been a real experience to watch the students grow and develop as they move through this project from start to finish. These engineering students are now in a point where they have to take the learning and the education that they've gotten out of their textbooks and translate it into a real world problem and a real world solution. They now have to interact with the customer and they have to meet deadlines and they have to have real life operating constraints. And I would say that the students that we're putting out of this program are among the best engineering students coming out of any program anywhere in the United States. Uh, now uh, it will be uh, put to test. The field tests uh, will take place at the, in District 3 in, in, uh, in Albuquerque uh, beginning at the, uh, at the end of the month. And so in a, in a couple of weeks, I think people will begin seeing this uh, out. Uh, 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 and, and we will uh, we're scheduled a, a design review meeting uh, f in a, about a month after that uh, to iron out the problems. Uh, after all, this is a prototype. Uh, we are also starting on the, uh, on the second generation uh, in the hopes that uh, uh, we will, uh, will, of course, need to do that in order to uh, develop this uh, uh, to make a commercially successful device.